Hello, uh, this is Andy with Iconic Fitness, um, and this is our very first nutrition lesson, um, and maybe the most important one. This is our uh, what we would consider the pillars of all the rest of what we will teach and guide you through um, in terms of nutrition and achieving your goals here at Iconic. Um, and we're really going to talk about uh, two main things. Uh, the first one is our Iconic Nutrition Pyramid. Um, and you should see that on the screen now, um, and it kind of builds from the base all the way to the tip in terms of what is the most important, and this is your hierarchy of um, importance in terms of nutrition and what you need to focus on. Um, and you'll see that at the very bottom, the number one most important thing is adherence or consistency. No matter what you're doing, you need to be making it a habit and need to be consistent about that. And we're going to talk about how to build consistent habits later on in this course. Um, but if you're not doing it consistently, if you're bouncing around, you'll never achieve what you want. Um, then we get to calories and macronutrients. Uh, calories are, are the very, very big key if you want to gain or lose weight. And macronutrients um, are what really get you there. So macronutrients are protein, fats, and carbohydrates, something we'll discuss a little further. The, the next three things on as you get to smaller at the top of the pyramid, micronutrients, meal timing, and supplements, are things a lot of people obsess about. Um, when they are trying to lose weight or when they're going through diets. And they don't realize that that's such a, a, a minuscule part of actually achieving your results. Um, so we're mostly going to focus on those top or those bottom three in this case, the ones that, that build the base of the, your pyramid. Um, uh, they are the key for success for anybody, no matter what your goals are. Be consistent. Understand that you're consuming the correct amount of calories. And then you make up those calories from your macronutrients. So you're gonna learn a little bit more about those or hopefully a lot more about those throughout the, this nutrition course. But understand that uh, supplements, meal timing, and micronutrients are not something you need to spend a lot of time worrying about unless you are planning on going on stage for bodybuilding or you're playing a professional sport. So that's our nutrition pyramid. Let's move on and discuss the four iconic nutrition rules. And these are the rules that all of our nutrition advice will center around. If you can get these four rules correct, pretty much everything else will fall into place. Um, if we're getting these wrong, then no matter what your goals are and no matter what else you're doing, you're going to struggle to achieve them. Um, maybe you want to gain muscle or lose fat or just be generally healthy. All of these things require you to follow these four nutrition rules. Um, but getting them right is not as hard as you might think. And we're here to help you not only understand what they are, but how to make sure um, that, that you're, you're achieving them. So the number one rule, and this is so important for, for us and something that I've realized throughout the course of, of my time in the fitness industry, um, because I've, I've made this mistake before, we're not going to obsess but we are going to progress. It's a clever little phrase. Uh, you can feel free to quote me on that. But the idea is like, we still wanna live our lives here at Iconic Fitness. We wanna make sure that people are able to eat what they want, they can go out, they can have a drink with friends, they don't have to limit, they're not constantly hungry all the time. But at the same time, so you're living your life, you are understanding that you have goals and each week you are working towards achieving those, even if they're small steps. So we're not going to obsess over every single little thing that we eat. We're not going to be the type of person that brings a Tupperware container to a, a party or something like that. But at the same time, we are going to make sure that, that this week I'm a little closer to my goal than I was last week. So there's always constant progress. So our rule number two, and this is something that just generally for long-term life and well-being is really important, and 90% of your meals should come from single-ingredient foods. Um, if you don't understand what I mean by that, like single ingredient foods, you've got some examples like eggs, chicken, broccoli, rice, beans, avocado, steak. Those are all just a single ingredient that you make up or, or what some people might call real food. What you don't want is for a big portion of your diet to be made up of anything that has a whole bunch of different ingredients. And that is almost everything that's packaged. Think about things like biscuits or even protein bars or protein drinks, uh, even juices that you have. If you look at the ingredient list, it's usually longer than you can with a whole bunch of stuff that you can't even read. And so we want to focus on single ingredient foods. Your body processes them better. The human body has evolved to deal with these foods much better than um, the stuff that we've started producing over the last like 50 years or so. So we're, we're focused on single ingredient foods. Um, the third rule is then, be flexible 10% of the time. 
This is when we're talking about not obsessing. So you do allow yourself to have your favorite foods. Um, you can allow yourself to have a drink or a few drinks whenever you want or when you want to. Um, so I enjoy burgers and I like pizza and I enjoy gin and tonic. None of those would be single ingredient foods and none of those would be considered particularly healthy. But they can still fit towards my long-term goals. I can still make progress and have these things. I don't want to constantly be um, limiting myself um, and inhibiting my good times. But the mistake a lot of people make with these kind of foods is um, understanding what 10% of your diet actually is. So we often overeat. So these foods that are packaged or with lots of ingredients or things that are unhealthy like cakes and stuff like that, those are really calorie dense. And so overeating them is incredibly easy. And um, that's something that almost all of us who have ever been a little bit heavier than we wanted to be or have a little more body fat than we want, we tend to make that mistake and overeat them. That brings us to our last rule. And in order to get the rest of these rules correct, you really need to understand and hit this last rule. And that is track your food and hit your targets. We're going to discuss what your targets are. Your coach is the one that's going to be in charge of making sure you understand what it is that you should be eating or how much you should be eating in order to achieve whatever goal it is that you have. But if you don't get this last rule correct, Getting numbers one, two, and three correct is almost impossible because we do these things over and over again throughout the course of our lives that we don't even realize where we either think that we're eating the right amount and yet week on week we are gaining a little bit of weight or at some point we gained a lot of weight, maybe we let ourselves go for a few months and now we think we're eating towards losing weight but we're staying the same. And the main reason that's happening is we're overeating somewhere or we're consuming more calories than we believe that we're consuming or maybe we're burning less calories than we believe we're burning. So we're going to set some targets for you that are going to be realistic and help you achieve your goals. Now, at first, those are just going to be educated estimates. Um, we're not going to know for sure until we do this over and over again. Remember the base pillar, that adherence, the consistency, that's so, or the base of the pyramid, that's so important here that, yeah, in the first week we might not make as much progress as we want, but if we continue doing it over and over again, testing, understanding ourselves, we are going to get uh, uh, progress in the right direction. Um, the thing about this is tracking your food is not as hard as people think it is, and we're going to make it really easy for you. We're going to focus on the top one, maybe two things. We're going to be focused on calories and protein. If we need to dig a little bit deeper into that, we will, but for almost everybody, if we can get our calories and protein correct, everything else is going to fall into place, and we're going to start making really great progress um, and start looking the way that we actually want or that we see in our minds. Um... So if you want to make changes to your body, it means that what you're currently doing isn't working for you. Um, you're probably eating too much, or if you want to gain muscle, you're eating too little, and you might not realize it. And we make so many estimates throughout our days, assuming that what we're eating is correct. And, and those are so often incorrect, and we won't know without tracking them. So this number four rule is really, really important. So just to review and uh, remind you guys, these are the keys to our um, everything that we're going to teach you about nutrition. And really, whether you're with Iconic or later on, these are the keys to your lifelong nutrition. Don't obsess, but progress. 90% of your meals should come from single ingredient foods. Or if you want to phrase it this way, eat real food. Allow yourself to be flexible 10% of the time. You know, you, if, if you're constantly telling yourself you can't have something, you're not going to stick to that diet and you're going to let yourself go off the wagon, even for two or three days at a time, which is more than enough to stop all that progress. And then finally, we're going to track our food and we're going to hit our targets. If we do that week after week, you will make progress. There's no other way to do it. Every single piece of research says that if you get your calories correct, you will make the progress that you're looking for. So remember, the reason this is all important is we are not going to obsess, but we are going to progress. That's what we do here at Iconic, and that's the key to our nutrition um, guidance. All right, guys, uh, we'll be back with lesson two, um, but make sure that everything you do fits this lesson first.